report is a legal requirement for almost all residential properties for sale in Scotland. It's the responsibility of the seller to commission a home report for their property and you will still need one even if you intend to market the property without an estate agent or solicitor. You can obtain a home report through a surveyor who's a member of the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors or RICS. The cost is mainly based on the value of the house and as with any purchase you should shop around to get the best quotation for carrying out the home report before you go ahead. The completed report is then available free of charge to any potential buyer from whoever is marketing the home, although you may have to pay a small fee to cover the administration costs. So what's in the home report and what does it involve? I met up with Grant Robertson, who's a member of RICS Scotland, as he was about to start a home report on a property which was just about to go on the market. Hi Grant. Good morning Rachel. Thanks very much for letting me join you on your survey today. We're standing outside a fairly typical looking property and to me it looks fine from the outside but what are you looking for? Well initially Rachel what I'm looking for is the age and construction of the building, how it's put together, is it stone, is it brick, is it tile, is it slate, the condition of the windows, the condition of the gutters and downpipes and from there I'm looking to highlight defects into different categories for the home report. So how do you break down those categories? The categories are broken into three sections. first one is of repairs which are of no immediate effect on the building and these can generally be disregarded from the point of view of any further action. Category two is where repairs are necessary to the building but which are not urgent. Category three is the most significant problem we could have and that could be structural movement, rot or damp or beetle infestation where we generally recommend the homeowner to get the estimates prior to marketing the property and they can then rectify these defects or leave that to the purchaser with the appropriate information. So, should we go inside and take a look then? Yes, after you. Thank you. Now, as we can see, Grant, getting access to a loft isn't always going to be easy, is it? But why is it so important to get up into that roof space? The surveyor's always going to make an attempt to get in the roof space where safe and reasonable access can be given. When we're outside, we noted a number of defects which might be allowing problems within the roof void, such as water ingress, rot, damp, infestation, that sort of thing, and a very important place for us to look at and see what the problems may be occurring up there. So you really need to get up there? Absolutely. Now Grant, everybody's always fascinated by room sizes, but you're actually looking for much, much more, aren't you? Yes, like the outside, Rachel, I'm looking to record the condition and the components, parts of the property the floors, the walls, the ceilings, electrical supplies, heating installations and looking to categorise any defects that I find as we did outside in categories 1, 2 and 3 and then produce that into the home report. Now much of what we've talked about already today will be familiar territory for most people who've ever bought or sold a house before but this energy report, that, that's something quite new isn't it? Tell me a bit about that. That's right, what we're looking at here is to show how energy efficient your property is and I'll be looking at things such as the insulation within the roof void, perhaps insulation of cavity wall insulation, double glazing, energy efficient light bulbs and as we have here the hot water cylinder and the boiler to see how energy efficient that is and what improvements can be made to make the house more energy efficient. Older properties like this can have disappointing energy ratings but sellers can still undertake a number of measures to improve that such as the insulation of double glazing or draft proofing. So you've done your single survey and your energy report, what else do you have to do? Well the surveyor's part of the preparation home report is now finished but it's the seller's responsibility to produce a property questionnaire. So what sort of questions are in the property questionnaire? Well there's some basic questions such as how long you've owned the property, have you made any alterations or perhaps any guarantees for work that you've carried out. But there's also some very helpful information for house purchasers council tax band, who are your service providers, things that they'll find very helpful in looking to make a decision about buying your house. Well, we're back outside again now, Grant, and that all seemed incredibly comprehensive. It's such a big change, isn't it, for house buyers and sellers with this new report. What are the advantages? Well, Rachel, for sellers, I see the advantage is they have a detailed condition report and value on their property prepared by a local member of the RICS. For buyers, the advantage is they're now not needing to commission their own survey and valuation and prior to the introduction of the home report, 90% of buyers relied purely on a valuation report. Now they've got a detailed and comprehensive report which they can take to their lender. 
And I presume it's helped those first-time buyers as well, hasn't it? Particularly for first-time buyers, they're not sellers, they're not needing to commission the uh, home report and in incur the cost of that prior to this process. And they can now go into the marketplace with, at no expense and look at as many properties as they want to. Well, Grant, thank you very much for letting me tag along and watch you do this survey. It's been absolutely fascinating. Thank you. Very welcome. Well, a list of contacts for more information are coming up at the end of this programme. But to sum up, the Home Report is compulsory for most homes being put on the market in Scotland. The Home Report was introduced to give buyers much more upfront free information on the condition of the property and ultimately to assist in improving the quality of Scotland's housing stock. The Home Report is made up of three separate documents, all of which are the responsibility of the seller. The single survey, which must be completed by a member of RICS. It'll also state its current value, give information about any problems the property has and how urgently it needs to be repaired. Then there's the energy report, including an energy performance certificate. And finally, the property questionnaire, which is filled out by the homeowner, showing basic information about the property. You should use a surveyor with local knowledge of the area and the type of property they can give the best advice. The Home Report should take some of the stress out of buying and selling a property and lets you know the condition and value before stepping through the front door. So best of luck in finding your dream home. Yeah.